Hey everyone, Jacob the Dragon here, and today I'm going to be explaining why the PC port of Mega Man X Legacy Collection Volume 1 is poor. As you can already tell, I have the Nintendo Switch version and the PC version on Steam in my Switch Joy-Cons in case you're not convinced. But yeah, so... So here it is. Now, I'm recording with my current phone. And this is the first time I made a video with my phone. As some videos from years ago used my PS Vita camera, but now I'm using my phone instead. Now, while the PC port is still playable, it has a ton of slowdown. And I'm going to show you, in each game, how the gameplay looks to the best of my ability with one hand, considering I'm holding with my phone. So, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm going to show you how fast the dash is on the Switch and how slow it is on PC, and also boss intro levels when I have the chance to. So yeah, so... First things first, just to let you all know... That I have had... the Switch version for about... a couple of years now. And and it, it wasn't until literally last month that I finally got every single achievement. And I also just got the PC version last month. So I I guess with the PC port being on sale during that time, it kind of drove me to complete this. Now before you ask, no, I don't have volume two on my Switch, but I do have it on PC. And Volume 2 actually runs a bit better than Volume 1 for some reason. Now, if this was like, let's say, um, Spyro Reignited, then I could just chalk it, up, chalk it up to my laptop not being able to handle it. Even though it still runs Spyro better than my last laptop. Yes, I have Spyro Reignited on both my Nintendo Switch and Steam. And since my phone can pause while recording, it makes it easier for me to show. See, Spiral on PC and Spiral on my Switch. As you can see, I have the physical copy, so uh, one moment. Yeah, here it is. Now, I also had Spiral reignited on my Nintendo Switch for a really long time. Before getting it on my laptop. I'll explain that later one day, but... <clears throat> so yeah, so... I had it on my Switch before I had it on my laptop. And yes, I have completed Spyro Reignited a couple of times. Alrighty, now I wasted enough time. Now, now let's get going. Starting with Mega Man X. You can see a bit of my reflection because of the screen, but um, sorry if it gets blurry in some areas. Now, watch how fast the logo goes by. And look how fast the Blast shot goes. It may not be noticeable, but now let's take a look at the PC. Now I had my volume low for a reason so you guys could hear me. But um now oh da, da, da. Now, take a look how slow it is on PC. Now, 
Now, it may not look like it, but there is a bit of a slowdown, but it becomes much more noticeable later when I show Mega Man X4. Alright, now we can get to the gameplay part. So, now to say this really quickly before I continue, the boss intros are slow on PC, but <clears throat> I'm only going to use X4 for this one because it's the most obvious example and the easiest to show. And with sound too. Now, let's take a look how fast that ready goes. Skip all that dialogue. Alright, now, let's take a look how it looks. PC. Now the text boxes moving fast or slow is more noticeable in X4 as well, but I'll get to that soon. Does that look slow or what? Now this should be your first clue that Mega Man X is running slow. Now to show the same exact thing with X2 real quick and then X3 and then we could get to X4 which easily shows the rest. Now I don't have to show the ready thing because it's because the NES ready is still the same anyway but so yes look. And on PC, still looks slow. Okay, now to X3, and I'm going to try to hurry this up because this video is already becoming a little bit too long than what I was trying to do, so the dash... And now the charge. Look how slow it is on PC. And finally, X4. Now, let's take a look at how quick the ready is. Beautiful. Now, look how slow it is on laptop. Like, I know it's not my laptop doing this. Clearly, Capcom messed up. How? I don't know, but they messed up. So yeah, you probably just saw that just now. Now, here's one with zero.
Oh, and one last thing before I move on to um, the intro thing. And one last other thing before moving on to the boss intro. Now look how fast the text move on the switch. So yeah, you should be convinced by now that the PC port is slow. How I managed to get all the achievements on PC, I'm not sure, but I did, but now to show the intro thing and that'll be it. Unfortunately, I won't be able to show the, um, the boss intro thing because I had my headphones on and I turned it off during the game. So, I won't be able to show it. Sorry about that. But, after everything I showed, should be more than enough evidence that, that the PC port is not particularly good. So, if you're looking to play Mega Man X Legacy Collection, I suggest getting it on the Switch or whatever console you have it. Now, unless someone knows how to fix the poor performance of the PC version, please let me know. I would really appreciate it. Now, as for the X challenge, while still a bit slow on laptop, it's not too bad compared to the rest. And as for volume 2, um, X6 and X8 run the best on. PC. Again, I don't have volume 2 on Switch, so... So yeah, so... This is Jacob the Dragon, signing off.